Hi there, this is Solid Chironin from Solid Chironin Films and welcome to another double take video. Today's double take is two films featuring Paul Bartel and Mary Warrenoff. Paul Bartel directed Death Race 2000 in 1975 starring Mary Warrenoff and he wrote co-wrote and directed and starred in Eating Rowell, also starring Mary Warrenoff. Paul Bartel was an actor, writer, director, started in theatre and he directed some very cultish films. Mary Warrenoff has always been a slightly odd actress who has had a very long career playing odd characters. But both these films are a lot of fun. We'll start with Death Race 2000, which I didn't actually realise had a direct DVD sequel, Death Race 2050 in 2017, which isn't actually 50 years after the 1975 film, so it should really be Death Race 2042 or something like that. Um, but Death Race 2000 pretty much is what it says. Obviously Jason Statham and Luke Goss made riffs on it in the 2000s. It stars David Carradine and an early performance by Sylvester Stallone. A performance full of gusto. It's probably one of his best. Um, and the aforementioned Mary Warrenoff is one of the, the five drivers in a transcontinental race where the drivers get points for killing people who happen to be standing in the road or off the road on the pavement, whatever. Obviously they would not make it completely word for word if they did a remake because um, you get extra points for toddlers in this film. Um, and obviously old people. There's a nice touch where for some reason the hospital leaves geriatrics out in the middle of the road every year to be knocked off, probably to reduce the hospital costs. Um, but Frankenstein, played by David Carradine, who pretty much always wins the race and his body has been reconstructed so many times, deliberately goes off road and kills some doctors instead. Both these films are satires, both of them, well Eating Rowell is a bit more subtle but not that much more subtle, um, Death Race 2000 is not subtle in any way shape or form. It's about a country where the citizens are told that they're free but obviously they have to do what they're told, sounds familiar. Um, and we got to the stage that we watch violence and death on the television for entertainment. At least we don't do that nowadays. This may have been made in 1975, about the year 2000, but now it's 2020, we certainly don't watch violence on TV for gratification or anything like that. Death isn't served up between adverts telling you to buy stuff. Um, so on the surface it's just a fun ride. There's lots of um, fun deaths but there's also a satire there underneath there's a resistance that wants to uh, if you'll pardon the pun make America great again lift the veil from what's going on and um, get people to think for themselves again um, it's not as if this film's relevant or anything um, made, produced by Roger Corman it's one of the Roger Corman classics and Paul Bartel directs with efficiency and economy, which obviously you had to do if you're working for Roger Corman. Um, Mary Warrenoff is wonderful as always as one of the drivers, but it's David Carradine's film. Um, he goes through navigators um, very frequently, 
but his new navigator's got a secret. He's got a secret. Everybody's got a secret. Um, the underground is trying to derail um, the race. Um, some of the drivers meet with accidents as the the fervent reporters who are working for the state tell people, but obviously that's not the actual truth. Um, it's all about how the media works for the state, only tells the people narratives that the state wants you to hear. Again, pff, just doesn't happen nowadays. I mean, it's it's just not relevant anymore. Um, it's colourful, it's fast, it's a lot of fun. Um, but for me, it's like a three star film. It'll always be a three star film. Um, but there's a lot of enjoyment to be had from Death Race 2000. Now, eating roll is a completely different dish. Made in 1982, it's only 83 minutes long, but it's just about as perfect as you can be. Um, it doesn't need to be any longer. This is the Criterion Region B Blu-ray, which is wonderfully colourful. Um, even more colourful in the inside. And it tells the story of the story. It tells the story of Paul and Mary Bland. Again, it's subtler than Death Race Two Thousand, but not that much subtler. Who want to open Paul and Mary's country kitchen? Which is the booklet is arranged as a menu, which is very nice. It's a very nice touch. Um, for a fun film, it's a really fun design by Criterion. Whoever was in charge of the the design for the release, um, kudos to them. It's by number 625 if anybody's counting at home. But Paul gets fired from his convenience store job because he keeps buying in far too expensive wine instead of just local slop that the boss wants to sell to people. So he gets fired. Mary is a nurse. Mary Warnoff looks very good in a nurse's outfit. She goes through quite a lot of outfits in this film. Um, and they're tired of the kind of degenerates that they meet, the swingers in their building, and they kind of, you know, because they're, they're a good couple, they don't want anything to do with that. Um, so, for one reason or another, they accidentally... Um, one of the swingers comes to their house, one comes to their apartment um, by accident and accidentally dies. And he's loaded with money and they get this idea that we need money for this restaurant out in the country. And what if we were to accidentally um, kill these degenerate swingers and sexual perverts and take their money? So they... They meet this Don Dominate Matrix. I can't even say the word. Um, who gives them hints? They take out an ad, and then Mary Warrenoff gets in various outfits um, to satisfy these evil perverts' kinks. And Paul Bartel hits them over the head with a frying pan to dispose of them. Um, Enter Raoul, played by Robert Beltran, who's probably more famous for being in Star Trek. Um, is it Voyager? I can never remember. Might be Star Trek Voyager. Um, as Raoul, who's a kind of scam artist himself, he agrees to get rid of the bodies for a cut. Um, and he also sells the victims' cars for profit as well. But then he and Mary get involved with each other, leading to lots of jealousy and lots of hijinks. It's just so much fun. Um, I'd probably give it a four out of five, but if I gave halves, I'd probably get a four and a half. And I can see on repeated viewings that might end up on my favourites list. Again, it's a satire of consumerism. It's a satire of... Obviously, sexual kinks and um, the permissive society. 
it's so much fun. I mean, Paul Bartel and Mary Warnoff are just perfect as the bland couple. Um, Robert Beltran's wonderful as Raoul. Um, for those expecting a cannibal film, it's not that. Um, you know, it's not Cannibal Holocaust or anything. It's just so much fun. Um, there's so much going on. There's so ma- many great one-liners. Um, again, it's a film that on repeated viewing, I think I'm going to love more and more. Um, and you will too. Obviously, it's not to everybody's taste. Um, it's one of those films that you're either going to get or you're not going to get. Um I don't know whether there's actually a musical based on it or just it's in theatre. Um, but it's just so much fun. Um, Mary Warrenoff has never been better. Um, and Paul Bartel is just wonderful as this stuffy um, kind of guy who has these morals against sex. But of course he's quite happy to um, kill people and take their money. Um Yes, it's a bit episodic just with the random people that turn up at their door. Um, Ed Begley Jr. turns up because his kinks like being a hippie. So they like pay all this money in a light show. Um, It's just so much fun. The extras on the Criterion are really good. There's an audio commentary by the screenwriter and production designer and editor. Um... There's two of Paul Bartel's short films, Secret Cinema from 1966 and Naughty Nurse from 1969. And then there's a really good 2012 documentary, Cooking Up Rule, featuring interviews by Mary Warrenoff and Robert Beltran. Um, Because obviously, sadly, Paul Bartel was dead by that time. Um, There's a gag reel and there's an archival interview with Bartel and Warrenoff. And obviously the booklet is one of the better criterion booklets because it's done as a as a menu it's so much fun both these films are so much fun um eating rule is the better film in my opinion but there's lots of fun to be had in both so please let me know what you think of death race 2000 and eating rule if you've seen them and hopefully you'll join me again for more double takes this is solitary ronan Hoping that hasn't ruined your appetite. Saying farewell.